All right, now we have to make sure that we're showing the lines, empty lines on the screen, and that we actually play. We're going to check for correct letters and have them display on the screen. We aren't checking for anything incorrect yet. We're just checking for correct letters. If we get an incorrect one, nothing will happen. So we've got an array called guess that will hold correctly correct guess letters, an array called wrong that will hold wrong letters. I'll actually use that in the next step. We've added a display 3, which we're going to change. And then we did this last time where we've got the answer key and answer set to the game answer key. So when we're doing setup, we're adding guest equals new care answer dot length. Now I declared it up here so it was a public variable. It's global. I can access it from within any function, which you're going to see is necessary. That's why I created it, though I didn't create an in, though I didn't set the length for it up there up at the top. So I'm setting the length for it here. And each time we pass through this, we're setting game character letters equal to answer character at i. We're setting guest for i equals to a blank uh, to a underscore so that it will show you that. Now I don't really need this. I was just I do print lines all the time to test and see how things are working. You can see down here I'm doing my comparison in my last one. And it's a good idea to check things regularly. So we've got draw, display three. Each time we go into draw is initialized so that we can redraw the array. Um, and so what we're going to do to redraw that array for int i equals zero, i less than guest dot length, i plus plus, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be replacing each underscore with a letter when it's guessed. So right now we're going to add spaces between those and it's going to show up on screen. So we have display 3, which the first time we run it is going to give us a bunch of underscores. So here is my bunch of underscores, so I know that there are four spaces for this. So that is what happens the first time you enter there. Then we call it has us type in one letter, and then when a key is pressed, if we hit enter, which is a slash n that stands for new line, that's hitting enter. It sets typing equal to nothing, and it is detecting that we have hit enter. And then we call it the play function, which I just wrote, and we pass typing into it. So the play function is completely new. This is down here. I'll leave it up on screen. You're going to want to possibly pause this and type this in. Void means we don't return anything. The name of the function is play and we're passing in a string called guess. That's the letter that we accepted from typing. We're having guess equal itself to uppercase because all of my answers are uppercase and you have to compare an uppercase to an uppercase to know if they're equal. And then this is where I'm testing. I've got my print line of guess and then I have character my guess equals guess dot character at zero. So I'm making sure just to set to compare that character. I'm taking the character equal to the capitalized character. Now we did limit the string to one character. Um, I'm just taking that string and converting it to a single character, which is now in upper case because we moved it to uppercase here. So guess only had one letter. We changed it to uppercase. Then we set a character value. My guess equals guess care at zero because we can't compare a string to a character. We are comparing this character, my guess, to that array that we broke our string into. So now we're going to go through our loop as many times as there is for the answer. And here's you're seeing me test each of these items as well. I don't even need this anymore. Print line that guess. I was just trying to make sure it was going to capital, which it is. This will show you, I'm going to leave this one up which will print down here showing you that it's checking the guess against each variable in the um, answer. And if they equal, then you're setting guessed at C to my guess. So basically what that's saying is that it will replace these underscores with letters. 
So we don't. We are sort of having it play so far. We can see if it's guessed, it will show up right. Nothing happens if it's wrong. So let's give it a try. Okay. So I did not give myself the answer this time, so I will actually be guessing. So A, E, I, O. There we go. I can tell you it's COBOL right now. So nothing happens at this point when I guess wrong. But I can go ahead and finish it, and I'll show you that C, O, B, oops, don't want to hit, and if you hit enter with nothing in there, it gives you a string index out of range. So we want to make sure that we don't accept it unless there's something on screen. This is something that's a troubleshooting issue because I hit enter twice that caused that error. I'm not going to worry about fixing it at this time. Let's play again. Okay, that's probably JavaScript. Yep. So it fills out the whole word for us. We don't have the image for our hangman loading yet. We don't have anything happening with the used letters. Um, so those are going to be our next steps. What happens when things go wrong? We also want to know if we have um, one. So we have to determine that. All right, that's our next steps. Get this far, and then we'll move on.